It was, I mean, the main reference for the, for the VA hospital was the, there's a documentary called Let There Be Light by John Huston, and that was a, a huge reference for all the, all the hospital scenes. Uh, then we kind of, we, we had a lot of, a lot of steals and, and, and things like that as visual references, but uh, for example, another reference um, for the boat, it was Black Stallion, even if it's a totally different, different period and a totally different thing, it's, they had to deal with the same thing, it was like shooting on a, on a boat on, <laughs> on sea, so there was kind of, that was kind of it, other than that, uh, mainly, mainly stills from from different books. There is a uh, there's a book called World War II or something like that. It was just like all the the, um, the amazing black and white photos with soldiers and stuff that we used. But that that's, that was kind of it. For for me, I mean, a, a huge challenge it was um, mainly uh, switching to a, a certain type of production that I was doing before, and I was uh, working before that in Romania for like really small budget features, and then uh, I'm, I'm working with with Francis Coppola for the last seven years, and he's doing in, in his period of of his life he's doing like really independent projects where basically you don't have a lot of toys but you have a lot of time and, and the concept is let's try to invent certain things and let's try to spend more time thinking about exactly what we want to do and the, the like Paul's movie was the totally opposite you have everything you can imagine and like all the toys possible but you have only five minutes to figure out what you <laughs> what you can do with them because it's it's a different type of, of of production, definitely, it's more like a, like an army moving than like having an objective that it needs to be conquered in a certain time compared to like a really, really relaxed way of, of, of doing things and, and playing around. So there was there was one of the main challenges, like the size of the crew and the the, the whole process itself. It, it took me a while to figure out how it's how it's working, and I had an amazing gaffer that that he's used to, to things like that, to bigger productions. So he was really helpful and it was amazing to, to be able to, to design the, all, all those things because a lot of times you just put things on paper and uh, it, it sounds wonderful, but when you have to solve them and when you real, really like realize that you need 120 lamp sources or stuff like that, then it's a bigger challenge and you have to deal with, with a lot of stuff like that. It's it's interesting because I mean it's it, there is a there is a big similarity uh, between him and, and and Francis and that's mainly because they are both uh, so involved in in the process because Francis as well and 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 Paul they are uh, not only directors but they are writers as well and producers as well so uh, they are so involved in in in, in the whole process. Uh, it's, it, it, it's definitely interesting, not that the other directors that are just directors are, are less involved, but there's a certain type of, uh, of involvement when you, when you control all these, all these elements, because if you're the writer as well, you can change stuff on the fly, and if you're the producer or one of the producers as well, you know exactly what pieces of the puzzle you need to put together to make those things happening overnight. So I kind of knew that type of, of involvement from, from Francis, but again, it was a different, like a different level of, uh, of uh, um, making the movie itself in terms of uh, how much it costs and like the, the whole toys thing, you know, when you, when, you, when, you, when you have all the toys and when you, when you really know how to use them. Because also Paul learned a lot about 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 shooting and framing from from Robert before, so he he knows a lot about about cinematography. I think it's I think it's a it's 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 huge. I mean, uh, a lot of a lot of festivals are. Uh, I don't. If I have to think about it, I don't know if there is another festival that is like so specialized, not necessarily just for cinematographers, but there is no festival for like production designers or <laughs> like scriptwriters, you know, it's just like, it's so focused on, on, on one branch, which is great. I think it's, I think it's amazing.